What is up guys? This Sunday is WrestleMania 31 and I'm actually looking forward to this thing since the card for this year's Mania actually looks good to watch this year because you gotta admit the last couple of WrestleManias the card hasn't been that great and neither has the Manias. So I'm gonna give out my predictions for this year's WrestleMania and here we go. Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. Who will win this match? I'm going to go as Randy Orton since he just returned last month, I believe. Probably do some shady shit. Because Seth Rollins, who knows? Like, if he loses, he may cash in his money in the bank briefcase at the end of the show. That's what I see. I can see Randy Orton going over. Not cleanly. Going to get some people to get involved. Wait, actually Randy's not the type of dude. That, wait, I think he is. I can't even tell anymore. Haven't been paying much attention to his shtick. But I say, I, I'll just say is Randy Orton wins this one since he just returned. And he's got to make some sort of impact on his return. He can't lose his first match back. Who knows? The WWE has done stupider shit before. Alright. Next match. The Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. I was... We would think that... Uh, I'm going to go as Bray Wyatt. So Undertaker can pass on the torch. Even though he lost his WrestleMania streak last year. And passed on the torch to Brock Lesnar. But Bray Wyatt hasn't been going anywhere lately. So it would be a good idea to actually have an amazing win over The Undertaker. And make him actually have somewhere his career go after this. Also, Undertaker can win this. But what's the point? Since it's Undertaker, he doesn't need to win anymore. He's just a main attraction guy. He only shows up for Manias now. I'm guessing he could either just let the guy win. And do that for every mania, like let the young guys soar. And excuse me, I'm having a cold right now, so if I sneeze, you'll know why. Plus, I got a runny nose. And drinking Neo Citrine always does the job right. <sighs> At least for me, Neo Citrine does the job. Next match on the card. Oh. This is a bathroom break. One of the two bathroom breaks that will take place during this card is the Divas match. The Bella Twin versus who is it they're taking on? AJ Lee and Paige. I could care less. I don't care who wins, but I've got to pick someone, so. The Bella Twin Sluts get to win. Why not? Just let it get over with. Let, let it be five minutes. Oh. And hope to God it's not the second and last match on the card before the main event. Because that will just kill the entire pay-per-view right there. <sighs> Neo Citrin time. And no... Oh, I'm not getting paid by Neo Citrin by saying her name. I'm just saying it just because. Haven't sold out yet. Actually, no company has told me to sell their products yet. But enough of that. Let's not talk about that. So the bathroom break of the match, I'll go with the Bella Twins. So the next match will be the United States title match. United States champion Rusev versus John Cena. I like to say, thank God Jan, Jan Cena... I'm losing my mind here. I gotta say, I'm so glad John Cena is not in the damn main event this year. Anywhere far away from the goddamn main event for the title. But from what I read, they want the United States to, title to mean something. So they're probably gonna go with John Cena to make the title be something. But what's the point in John Cena winning the title? Like, isn't that taking a step backward for that guy? Would he, they let him win the IC title? No, they wouldn't. But having John Cena lose a second time in a row since he lost last month's pay-per-view would, I mean, be good to his character or his 
pandering to the kids. So why would they make him lose twice? He's Vince McMahon's money boy. So most likely John Cena will win this title and Rusev will lose. And his undefeated streak will have ended since... Yes, I said undefeated because like... He's been beaten before in NXT and shit. But WWE treats its fans like retarded people. And they say, no, he's not been beaten before. You know how they are. So I'll go with John Cena to win the thing since they can't have him lose twice in a pay-per-view, even though I don't like John Cena at all. Okay. This match I'm looking forward to. The ladder match for the IC title. Bad News Barrett versus R Truth versus Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper versus Dolph Ziggler versus who? Stardust versus Daniel Bryan. I mean Bryan Danielson. It's rumored that Sheamus may return to this match at Mania or he'll join the Battle Royal. Whichever one he returns, I'm betting he, he'll win the match. Because let's face it, Bad News Barrett is not a great... He's a good IC champion, but he's not going anywhere. If he lost to Unico on SmackDown that one time, the title's not going anywhere good on him. Our truest winning IC title... <laughs> good one. Ron Killings, he's a good wrestler and all, but they do not give him a chance at all in the Fed. Dean Ambrose, they've been jobbing him out. Luke Harper had his time with Icy Title for a cup of coffee, so I highly doubt they're going to do it again. Dolph Ziggler, the jobber boy. I'm not saying he's a jobber boy. That's how they're treating him in the Fed. As magnificently of a awesome wrestler that he is, they're treating him like crap. So, I don't see him winning the title. Stardust? Nah. Brian Danielson? Maybe. If Sheamus is not in this, Brian Danielson will win this, which will prove that this man doesn't give a shit about this guy. And it's a step backwards for him. And he'll probably never again win the WWE title since he's going backwards and stuff. That's how the Fed is doing it with him. They're not even, yeah, his time as WWE champion is over. Or if Sheamus returns, like I said, he'll probably win it. All right, on to the next match, which is the second bathroom break, because you know the Andre the Bat the Andre the Giant Battle Royal doesn't mean jack shit. Cesaro won last year, and what did that give him? It gave him nothing. It did nothing to him. So basically, this battle royal is for nothing. It's just. For show, and it's a bad break. I give this match like seven minutes. So who's in this match so far? The Miz, Curtis Axel. You know what? Who cares? Since it's not really important. But, like I said, if they decide to put Sheamus in a battle royal, he'll win it. But since they want to develop his character and he's Triple H's workout buddy, they'll probably want to do something with him. So, the next step guy that they'll probably give it to is probably Damien Sandow because he's getting a big, huge pop. He'll win it. They'll do nothing with him. It's back to square one. So, who cares about the Andre the Giant Battle Royal? Which is a shame, too, because Andre the Giant was awesome. But they're doing nothing with this Battle Royal. Just look at... Did I say Jack Swagger before, or what did I say Zoro? I don't remember. Look at what happened to Zoro last year. Did nothing for him. And now he's tag team champions in a job stable. Jobber type tag team was Tyson Kid, TJ Wilson. And they're not even on the pay-per-view, which shows how much of a jobber tag team they are because they're on the pre-show. I saw that coming. Sting versus Triple H. The Mark in me wants to say Sting because, you know... Will be to the point of Sting losing his first only and only match because probably this is the only time he'll be working. Who knows if he will be working the Fed after WrestleMania because this is his last date. So it made no sense to make him lose, but if he does sign for another year or something, probably lose. And you know how Triple H likes to say he beat everybody. 
So it's a toy cost here. But I have to pick someone. Because I'm not looking forward to this, but I gotta say Triple H. Because, you know, Triple H likes to beat everybody. And just the fact that Triple H beats Sting, he'll probably say that all the time. It's like, oh, I'm the one who beats Sting. <sighs> so that'll probably happen. And the last match of the night, which hopefully is, because like I'm hoping that God does the last match and not have John Cena and Rusev be put in the last match, because that would suck so bad. But anyway, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. I was kind of afraid of this match at first, before I, because. Before, we didn't know Brock Lesnar would re-sign with the WWE, and I got shades of WrestleMania 20 visions coming back to my head, like Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg, where Brock Lesnar would only do half the job and just half-ass his way through it, not giving a shit. But since he has re-signed with the WWE, we'll see him, like, actually give a fuck. So, this will either have... Roman Reigns winning it, because that's what they've been building it up to. But since Brock Lesnar has re-signed, he'll probably win. Roman Reigns loses, and then Seth Rollins cashing his money in the bank at Mania, but they haven't done that, which I do not remember if anybody has done that before. Cashing in their money in the bank briefcase at WrestleMania against Brock Lesnar and win the thing. But I have to pick somebody, so I'm going to go with Roman Reigns since they've been building up this motherfucker for the last two years. Keep him strong. Keep him strong. Make Roman Reigns look strong, like CM Punk would say. That's all what they told him in when he was interviewed. Make Roman Reigns strong. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Roman Reigns just because they've been building him up for the last two years. It's a go-to boy, and they want to do something with him. So those are my picks for the WrestleMania 31. What are your guys' predictions? Take it easy. Humanoid freak out. Bye.